Humphrey. <laughs> <laughs> That's former Texas it usually works when you start yeah. talking about these replacements. That's a good replacement, though. So. Former Texas Tech uh, coach Spike Dykes is our guest on the Cook's Pest Control Hotline. You're listening to ESPN 97.3 The Zone. Wim Sanderson and Matt Coulter. Uh, how about your son going out to California? That's a good move for him, but uh, is uh, the California lifestyle going to be something he can keep up with? Well, he uh, he uh, he's crazy. He can't find town. You know, that's going to be <laughs> under, that's going to be. You talk about country come to town now, and. Uh, <laughs> but no, that's that's right up his alley. He'll enjoy. The, you know, he was at he was at Arizona for four years, and uh, and you know, he told me he said he was always been enamored by the cow job, and of course, uh, Coach Stedford was a good friend of his, and they were, you know, they were constituents. I mean, they talked quite a bit, and and uh, he was always he always said, "Boy, that's that's really a good job," and. Uh, <laughs> You know, so we, I think we probably dance to different drummers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. That would be, uh, that'd be, that, that wouldn't be, I don't think I'd fit too good there. And, uh, but I hope he does. I hope he can do it. And, and, you know, he, uh, he's, he's been, he's been very fortunate. Louisiana Tech was really, really, really good to him. And, uh, they, you know, they did well. I noticed today that, the receiver Quentin, Quentin Patton made second team All American. The punter made first team All American. That's pretty good for Louisiana Tech. Sure it is. And so that tells you why they won some games. They had some really good players, and and he loved it over there. And he, you know, he said, "I said, well, when you're your age, and you have a chance, you you need to make a decision. It looks like to me, and I'm telling you this because you asked me. You've either got to say this is where I want to spend the rest of my career and set your bucket down." Or you better go while you got a chance. Yes, you don't stay hot long, do you? Huh? You don't stay hot long. No, no, that fire goes out quick. You know that wimp. And and so anyway, that's I think most people's goal is to try to, you know, try try to climb the ladder, whatever that means. The ladder for different people is different deals, you know. But but surely, uh, no, it'd be good. It'd be interesting. I think it's gonna be. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I hope he can be competitive, and I hope he can. You know, I think the key to the whole deal is going to be putting together a good coaching staff, and and if most people that win football games have good staffs. Now, I noticed and, where he uh, took uh, Tony Franklin with him. Tony, you know, is at Auburn, and Tommy. Yep. He got, he got yep. Tommy in a mess because he couldn't get along with the other coaches. But then he went to Middle Tennessee, and I don't know where all, but he's been around, of course, with with uh, with your boys. With well, Sonny, Sonny so. coached with Tony yeah. for two or three years at it. At Kentucky, yeah, okay, that's right. That's where they started yeah. together. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's, they, then he wrote know, that he's book for a long time. Yeah. yeah, Tony wrote that book about Kentucky, and that got him in a lot of hot water <laughs> with some coaches. <laughs> well, Is that right? I did. I don't even know. Well, Tony will be in his, his element too. He'll like it out there. Yeah. <laughs> He may be more so in his element than Sonny is. <laughs> well, I don't know about Sonny's element, but I think you know. Uh, That'll be, you know, I, I think, and, and you, tell me if I'm wrong. Well, I think part of the fun in coaching is is different deals occasionally, yeah, you know, I think different it is. challenges. Get out of the, get out of your comfort zone and do something else. And I know I coached for years and years in high school, and I coached in college, and I went over to Mississippi State, and I went to University of New Mexico, uh, went all over Texas, South Texas, North Texas, and you know, it was all a great experience. Yeah. It really, it's hard to leave places you like, but it's also. Uh, Sort of fun to go try a new deal, and uh, you know I think that's I think that's part of the what makes coaches what it is today. What about this booger bear at Texas A and M? Got the Heisman Trophy. Is he something? Oh my lord! If he is not something, <laughs> and you know what he did, I, I tell you the. Uh,